Hi friends, today I'm training on a new kata. Suzuki needs help lining up his students. Uh, in this kata you are given a string of students and what you have to do, you have to return an array of the student uh, names sorted first by the length, right? And if the length of a student name is the same, then you still have to sort it by, uh, you know, there we stand alphabetically. So from, from like, uh, re like reverse alphabetical order, as we say, like from Z to A. So first of all, the longest, the longest goes go first. Uh, if they are the same length, then uh, the first uh, goes uh, Z and up to A. All right. So. In this kata, we are not going to mess up, uh, mess the tests, mess with the tests. Uh, we are going to leave them as is. We could do that, but it's uh, uh, wouldn't, wouldn't, we wouldn't learn a lot by doing that. Just waste some time. So uh, let's. I, I'm going to move just immediately to the solution section. I'm going to expand that, delete everything, and start from scratch. Line up students. That's the name of the kata of the function. Sorry, and I I get a string, so I'm naming it s, and oh my bad, s and uh, what what I'm first what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it right. So I'm splitting it, uh, and uh, if you noticed, uh, I am giving a string which has spaces between them. So I'm splitting it by space. So right now I have an array. Uh, arrays are easier to work with and uh, luckily we have to return an array. So basically we just have to do one more thing, sort it, right? Sort, uh, there is a special function called sort. Unfortunately it does not f f like, uh, does not try to sort by length, it uh, sorts by uh, like alphabetical order so it's not not uh, we cannot use the default sort without any callbacks in this case luckily sort function accepts a callback and this callback has two parameters so the first parameter is like basically they are just the the items which the sort function compares and you tell them how to compare them if you're returning one that means uh, like the a goes first if you're returning minus one then it B goes first. So first of all I am checking the length, right? So if B length is equal to the A length, then what I am doing? Uh, I am going, if that's the case, if they are equal, I still have to, to like uh, sort alphabetically right on the other hand I am I want to return uh, if, if they are not of equal length I am just doing this trick b dot length minus a dot length uh, what this does is, is it actually like returns you know an, an integer either uh, like positive or negative and that's that's what sort function accepts like positive and negative integers that's how it sorts uh, your items so I need to tackle this section right this is what's left uh, first of all I'm checking if a is less than b right so if it is less than b what I'm doing I'm returning one and if it is not then I'm returning just minus one so let's let's check that. Let's check if, if that worked. And it looks like I have passed my tests. Uh, before I go any further, oh my bad, not tests. I want like this this function looks like really really messy. Somehow got somehow got one overridden. <laughs> so this function looks really messy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, like try to use some like uh, split like line splitting 
to make it look a bit more reasonable. So this goes right here and this one goes right here. So you, you can understand what's going on. If they're equal, then I'm doing this check. If they're not equal, I'm doing that. And uh, yeah, let's try that. Let's run the official test. And oh no, 40 of the tests are failing. Let's check what's, what's wrong. And uh, looks like what's going on is uh, they're they're returning this and this space at the end and it got split up and it's got sorted out to the very first to the very last because it's the, the longest and that's why all the tests are failing so what what i can do is i can trim all the extra uh, all the extra like spaces before and after uh, like the string so let's try that again. And yeah, looks like looks like they're passing. So that's very good. Uh, that's how you solve. How, that's how you do some a bit more advanced sorting. And uh, I hope that you learned something in this kata. See you in the next kata. Bye, friends.